Hi guys, P. Chef Leah here. I'm actually um, wanting to show you our stainless steel pan and fond, which is actually the little bits of meat on the bottom of the pan. So it's really kind of neat because since this is a stainless steel, you get the really high heat, but you also get the, um, the non-stick with the grid light pattern on the bottom, which is really awesome. So I'm actually making a chicken marsala. My chicken is storing right over here hidden inside my uh, my insulated bowl. So it's staying nice and warm for me before I add the wine and everything. So there's some little bits of the chicken on the bottom. I've already got my mushrooms ready to go. So I'm going to add the wine, about three quarters of a cup of Marsala wine. Pan's nice and hot. We're actually gonna turn it up a little bit too, to about a medium high. And we're gonna end up scraping the bottom of the pan a little bit with my teak wooden spoon. And what that's doing is it's taking any of those flavorings from the chicken off the bottom of the pan into the sauce. And we're gonna let this Marsala wine cook up, cook down a little bit as I'm just getting all that fond off the bottom of the pan. Now the mushrooms did quite a good job already in getting some of that fond off of there. Um, but then the wine really helps to help deglaze the pan. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make sure that all of that comes off of here. So that's a really cool thing about the stainless steel pan from Pampered Chef is that you get all of that goodness of the flavors from the fond into your food. And that's what you want. It makes a really good gravy um, if you're making any kind of pan gravies. All right. So we're gonna get let this cook down for about four or five minutes. And then we're gonna end up adding our heavy cream to this. And when you add the heavy cream to the marsala, you wanna add it very, very slowly. And the reason is because you don't want to curdle the cream, you actually wanna temper it. So you're gonna to continue to stir as you continue to, um, to add it to the pan slowly. And then once you add the cream, you're gonna actually bring it down in heat and simmer it so that it becomes more of a pan gravy at that point. All right, so just to let you know, that cool little cooking tip for you. Whenever you're cooking, uh, heating the cream, you wanna make sure you temper it. You can, there's a lot of times in cooking you have to temper like eggs and stuff and do one at a time. But in this case, just a nice, slow, steady stream. All right, so we've cooked the wine down a little bit. We're gonna actually take another three quarters of a cup. We measured in our easy read measuring cups, one of my favorites, and we've got some chicken stock as well. There we go. Now just keep an eye on the time, so that way it will, and it looks like my bottom of my pan is nice and clean, which is going to make it really easy to clean. Now these are dishwasher safe, just to let you know. However, if you wanted to even just give it a wipe out, you could probably use it the next night, which is really kind of nice. All right, there we go. So um, I'm going to let this simmer a little bit or cook down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add my cream again, nice and slowly, um, and then it won't curdle. All right, so happy cooking, guys. Hope you like those tips.